How you doing? Hey there. If you want to buy something from a shop, you'll have to wait till it opens. Come back soon now. Damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? I think you better leave. Wait. You just got into town. Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. I said it was a start. This town, nobody looks me straight in the eye anymore. I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come and what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. Good. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or well, the Legion will be after me next. I know, all right. That's all you need to know. Yeah. We haven't met yet. You must be new in town. I'm Andy. Had his wife taken. I don't think he'll ever be the same as he was. Damn shame. I told the rangers up at the station to keep an eye out, but there's just too much ground out there for them to cover. Carla was a knockout. Whenever Boone walked around with her, he always had this funny grin on his face like he couldn't believe his luck. I know we couldn't. That wasn't the only reason she stuck out, though. That girl never minced words. If she'd had better food or hospitality, she'd let you hear it. Trouble was, she usually had. I don't think she meant it. She really was a sweet girl. I think she just wanted to remind herself that there's still nicer places in this world than Novak. Who could blame her for that? Right now, a whole lot of sitting on my keister and counting cracks in the ceiling. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. On better days, I help keep the peace. Boone and Vargas watch the road. I watch the town. Tell myself I'm doing some good.
Was. Was with them. That was back when my arm and leg used to work better. I still like to pretend I'm a ranger, though. I'll check in with the guys up at the station pretty regular on the ham radio. Sometimes they stop by, tell me they're paying their respects, the smug bastards. They haven't been responding to me last couple days. I guess they got tired of hearing me talk, but it still got me a little worried. Hell, listen to me talk, like some damn mother hen. Uh, no, no, they're gonna think I'm having trouble letting go. They're good soldiers. I don't give them enough credit. They're the NCR's finest. A one-man platoon, each of them. You got a job where even thinking about it would scare a man senseless? That's when you bring in the Rangers. And if you see a squad of veterans, guys who are in their black armor, well, you won't find a more beautiful sight. Yeah, twice. Actually, the first time, it was more like half my body. Knocked me out of the Rangers. This time, it's mostly just reminded me how useless I've gotten. A few years back, we get a tip that some Legion slavers were holed up in this burnout house a few clicks from where we were stationed. We get there and it's deserted. No sign anyone's been there. I mean, nothing. As we're leaving, I hear something behind me. I turn around and there's this kid, just skin and bone, and he's looking up at us and he's scared half to death. Been hiding in a closet. I go to grab him out of there and I notice he's holding something in his hand. Something metal. He shuts himself back in the closet and that's when I see the grenade he's left by my feet. They do it a lot, the Legion, using kids. They know we'll hesitate. Anyway, that was the first time. Second time, I fell down those stairs in front of the motel. Just in case I got to thinking I'd put it all behind me. Huh. People don't exactly line up to find out what's in my head. Can't remember the last time someone suggested I knew something worth knowing. You know, maybe there's something I can do for you. Since you've gone to all the trouble of flattering a crippled old soldier, there's a move we have in the Rangers for knocking an opponent off his feet. Save my butt a bunch of times, maybe it will for you too. Let me show you how it's done. You'll get the hang of that takedown. I had trouble learning it at first, too. Hey, uh, wait a sec. I know what I said, but if you find yourself by Ranger Station Charlie, let me know what you find. I'd be interested. Yes. Leave me alone. Later. You have any luck with the ghouls? I'm counting on you. Really? Unbelievable, man. I knew that wasn't gonna be easy. But I had a good feeling about you. You look like you've been through a lot. Sure thing. Me and his wife, we didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. Man, you name it. See, I grew up in North Vegas. Me and my cousins, we were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang, I loved it. Then something happened, and I couldn't handle it anymore. 
So I enlisted, earned my future, brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman, who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. Believe me, when I heard the news, my first thought was, I owe somebody big. I figured Boone would come around after a while. But he hasn't. I'm starting to think that if he doesn't find her, things will never go back to the way they were. Man, everybody. That girl didn't have one friend in this whole town. She didn't want any. She wanted to sit in her room all day and make herself miserable, and she went out of her way to be rude. She upset a lot of people. You wouldn't have liked her either. Were they tough? I was in the cons, man. It doesn't get any badder. Oh, it was great. I wouldn't trade it. Something about that lifestyle, the discipline, seeing new places, making people safe, what's not to like? Uh, well, I just felt like it was time, you know? Wanted to have a home. Plus, I was up at Camp Golf when Bitter Springs went down. I faked like I was sick to get out of going because I knew some of the people there. But when everybody came back, nobody would tell me what happened, and people would call us murderers sometimes when we showed up to secure towns. I still don't know exactly. Just that a lot of people died who didn't want to be a part of the fighting at all. I don't blame anybody for it. There's so much chaos when you're fighting. You're lucky not to shoot your own guys. But it did take something out of it for me. It just wasn't the same. So when it came time to re-enlist, I just took my papers and walked. Yeah, see ya. Leave me alone. Bye. Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. I can't see as how I'd charge you after the generous things you've done for the town. The room's on me. Your room will be the one upstairs, closest to the lobby side. Here's your key. Let me know if there's anything I can do to make your stay better for you. How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. 
I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. Poor dear. I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. Watch out for strangers! Welcome to the Dino Bite gift shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T-Rex figurines, you're just in time. There's still a few left. Can't say we spoke much. Boone did most of the buying for her. She was in the store once, but she didn't stay long. Had a look on her face like she'd smelled something sour. But far as I can remember, the gift shop smelled fine. Well, fine as it always does. Well, there's T-Rex figurines, of course. That's our bread and butter. We also have an assortment of the Repcon factory souvenirs, rockets, things of that nature. Guns? I, uh, well, yeah, I guess I might have a few. Darn it, no one ever buys the T-Rexes. Sure thing, have a look. Come back soon now. You shouldn't be here. If people know we talked, they'll suspect you. And if whoever did this smells a rat, they'll have the Legion after both of us. <sighs> Find out who had Carla kidnapped. Bring him out in front of the dinosaur while I'm working my shift. Let me know it's him by putting on the beret I gave you. That's it. Now go on. Yeah. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Oh, what am I doing? I got to thinking about making a good impression and plain forgot to tell you my name. I'm Jeannie May. I take care of folks here at the motel, long as they aren't troublemakers. We're in a little desert oasis, name of Novak. This is the Dino Delight Motel, and it's mine.
Hey there, need anything? Sure, here's what I've got. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Watch out for strangers. I hope you're fine. Again? All right. Hey, you came back. Must be doing something right. That's it then. How did you know? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It'd be like them to keep paperwork. Here. This is all I can give. I think our dealings are done here. I don't know. I won't be staying, I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now, except hunting legionaries. Maybe I'll wander. Like you. You don't want to do that. Yeah, that might be true. That's reason enough for me to take you up on it, I suppose, but this isn't gonna end well. Fine. Let's get out of here. What is it? You got no right asking me that. Drop it. You don't know what you're asking. Just let it go for now. The Legion's the only thing I want on my mind right now. I was in a lot of places with First Recon. I don't really remember. That part of my life's over now, and so is this discussion. He was a good spotter. Yeah, we were. No. Yeah. How you doing? Hey there. If you want to buy something from a shop, you'll have to wait till it opens. Come back soon now. <laughs> 